Hi guys, this is just a really quick video because I got loads of freebies yesterday um, from Paul Littleland, who's the sales director from Hachette Children's Books. And he came to class and he just gave me loads of free stuff. So that was really fun. So I just thought I'd go through with you a couple of um, new releases that's going to come out. So we've got He's After Me is one of them. So I just have like the first few chapters that I'm allowed to read through and stuff. Um, haven't really gone through it that much. haven't read it yet, but... You know, it looks like it's uh, it's going to be a good book. I'm, I'm really not sure what it's about, to be honest. It's just sexy, sophisticated teen writing, which I'm sure we're all going to enjoy. I also got a poster of that one, so that looks good, you know. Um, this one is... Um, oh, here's the poster. It's pretty cool. Um, this one it looks like it's going to be my favourite one. I just love, like, the title, uh, or, well, like, the synopsis. Um can see there. Once upon a time was a girl who is special. This is not her story, unless you count the part where I killed her. Um, it's from the author of um, Knife, Rebel and Arrow, if you know those uh, fairy books. I've never actually um, read them. I've heard they're really good though, especially Knife is really good. So, um, But yeah, not to just quickly show you a little bit, but not to put too much in it. Like The book is called Ultraviolet and um it just sounds like it's uh, going to be a really good book. 16-year-old um, Alison has been sectioned in a mental institute for teens, having murdered the most perfect and popular girl at school. But the case is a mystery. Nobody has been found. And it just goes on to some other things. Um, it, it definitely sounds like my kind of thing. A bit of... I think it's going to be a bit supernatural, because the girl kind of disappears, you know, nobody. But um, generally anything in an institution or a prison is kind of up my street. This sounds really wrong, I'm not crazy, I just mean I like reading about it. <laughs> anyway, um, then we've got Caddy's World by Hilary Mackay. It's the one of the prequels, I think, yeah, to Safi's Angel, if you know that book. It's for, like, um, about age nine, um, really, but, um, again, that... Uh, Looks like it's going to be really good. It's coming out. should be coming out this month, so I definitely uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, there's the rest of the series. Um, I read some of Staffy's Angel in my creative writing class last year, but I haven't actually read it in full. It sounds like I haven't read a lot of books, but I have just not these ones. Um, and this one, Knowing Me, Knowing You, um, by Helen Bailey. Um... I haven't actually looked at this one all that much. I just thought it was really cute with like the like the baby platform heels, wearing socks. It just just looks really good. So um have like the first two chapters there. That one comes out in November. Um don't really it says it's a wicked funny tale of identity, crushes on French boys and the perils of Facebook. So yeah, another one to look out for. I'll um, review them after I've actually like read all through this stuff. I just got really excited and wanted to make the video now. Um, because my favourite one is that I actually got given an entire book and it's called Heist Society and it's by um, Ali Carter. It hasn't been released yet and I have a proof copy that I can read through so it's really exciting. Um, Ali Carter, she also wrote um, the Gallagher Girls books, if you know them, and also... Um, yeah, the, it's those books, they were classed as the Slutty Spy series, I think, <laughs> and um, just about some spies in boarding school, um, whereas this one, it isn't in the same series, um, but basically, okay, the cover keeps falling off, because even though it is the book, it's not actually the cover, I have a different cover, but I wanted to sort of put the actual cover onto the scene, because um, that just comes off. But, um, but it is the actual book. I don't know if I'm supposed to show the proof cover. So. Um, but yeah, in this one, um, the main girl, Nick Cat, um, her, her and her dad and, and like her family are like art thieves. So she has to kind of sneak into the richest boarding school, like kind of cheat her way into like, the richest boarding school in America. And uh, I believe it's in America anyway. And then um, to pull off like her biggest heist, and she does it all herself. So, um, yeah, that'll be next on the reading list. Obviously, like I said, the um, I don't know where it's going. The actual next one on my reading list is the one I still I haven't read, which is The Blood on My Hands by Todd Strasser. Uh, I mean, it's only been a day since I thought I was going to read it, so not that big de a big deal. But yeah, so it goes this one. Then it'll be High Society, and then I'll be reviewing them all for you. And yeah, it's going to be exciting, so look out for it. Um, thanks very much for watching, I hope you 
enjoyed seeing a preview of all the new books that are due to come out. Um, thanks very much to Paul Littlin from Hachette Children's Books for sharing all that with me. So, yeah, thanks so much. Bye.